researches show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. A tsunami. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. Now, let's be generous and help out our friend Ali Dawa. I I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh, because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh, the people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Actually I played in the beginning in this video, I just saw it, somebody sent it to me. And I like this part on it where the Muslims telling us about how many Muslims leave Islam every day. It's really horrible and you Muslims should do something about it. I mean, first of all those numbers are absolutely false because I believe the number is way bigger. But let us hear it again. Researches show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. You potato. You potato. You potato. Al Jazeera TV said 661 something leave Islam every hour. Where those potatoes are getting their numbers from? And hold on, I heard that you want to debate a uh, apostate prophet. I mean, I want to know why all of them, they are lined up there and my channel is empty. <laughs> what a little girl you are. Be a man once in your lifetime. Uh, by the way, your voice sound good with the, you know, uh, what, what he said. We are proud of that. I mean, really, David Woody did it really good. We are proud of that. You are proud of what, you idiot? You want to debate an atheist? Come here, come here, come here. Welcome, everybody. Our topic today is the dark history of the most famous, famous, Tetas Khalakhritas Muhammad Prophet. I mean, the Muslim, they make a graphic making fun of uh, Santa Claus. You know, I want to ask the Muslims, when you make a video or you make an, a graphic, this is, thank you, Sheikh Uthman, by the way, you, you, you always give finger to Allah. This is the best thing about you. When you made this graphic, did you think that we are going to use it against your prophet? Now, Muslim cannot say, this is our graphic we made. You are making mockery of us. We use the same graphic to describe your prophet. The dark history of Muhammad. Take into consideration that Santa Claus, you know, Santa Claus is like there is a there's a there is a true part of it and there's a fiction part of it, right? But the true part of it, Saint Nicholas, is not a rapist. 
He never have a wife. She is six years old. He don't go after children to set them in their lap so he can play with them. He don't suck the tongues. He don't go to his own son house and he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there. And then he forced the son to divorce her so he can <clears throat> F her. So if Santa Claus have a dark history or Christmas, what is the history of Muhammad? I decide to make it uh, like a series of the dark history of Muhammad. And you know what? Here we don't do what the Abdul do. You know, they do monologue like the, the Christian, you know, they, they debate themselves, they win the debate and etc. Here we go. We are going to open our sky. Even though I'm not planning to stay long today, you know, but maybe we can get a good shot from a good smart Muslim. However, if you are a Muslim Muhammadan who worship Muhammad and kiss his stone, and you could not be witnessing our live broadcast today, we will be live tomorrow. And you can leave your comment down in the section so we can answer it to do tomorrow. Do Muhammad, you know, the Muslim, they keep saying to us, the Muhammadan, that Muhammad is a trustworthy. Al-Sadiqul Amin. This is something we heard since we were kids, but the more we grow up in age, the more we notice that Muhammad is not a trust and he never was worthy. To the point even his wife, she ran away with a Christian guy. His own wife, she got up of state from the garbage of Islam and she ran with this, a, 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 a person who is not a Muslim. A woman, she said to Muhammad, describe him as a suqa. Suqa mean trash, a piece of trash. When Muhammad, he asked her to sleep with him. What, look what kind of a prophet he is. Even she knew that she might be killed because Muhammad is a filthy man. The dark history of Muhammad is going to be exposed more and more. And thanks to Allah and his followers, everything is written in your books, not in ours. And I know the best scenario for Muslims in order to get uh, Muhammad looked like Santa Claus. This is why, you know, this is what Muhammad do. You know, the Muslim they try to make Santa Claus ugly. When Santa Claus never kidnap women and rape children, this person bring happiness even to Muslim children. And as we see in Bahrain, in Emirat, in Saudi Arabia, actually in Bahrain, just a few days ago in the Christmas day, we have the first Christian service in a church, official, huge church, thousands of people attend in Bahrain. So when their leaders, they are welcoming Christmas and nobody of their leaders dare to say what they say. We laugh at them because everybody knows who is the child molester. I challenge this potato, the finger boy, the burqa, to point his finger at Santa Claus raping children like he's a prophet. Can you? So I believe that the darkness of the history of Muhammad should be revealed. And now we are going to use your own graphic so Muslim cannot say, oh, we are making cartoon for Muhammad. This is a graphic you made. Thank you, Sheikh Uthman. From now on, this is Muhammad in every video I make. Isn't it, this is amazing? I'm not good in Photoshop. You Muslims are very good in it. You Photoshop everything. We show you the hadith. This hadith is da'if. The hadith says the hadith says Hassan. It's da'if. It says authentic is da'if. Photoshop. The sun set in murky water. We Photoshop the sunset. It's not setting in murky water. This is how it appeared to the guy. How come in the Quran doesn't say so? <laughs> Photoshop religion. <laughs> so we have our Skype open. If there is any Muslim he there to call me. Look at them. They are lined up to, you know, this guy, uh, uh, what is his name? Bomber, Bomber was something like this. Kidney, 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 whatever his name. Uh, David Wood. Somebody talk to David Wood, man. This guy, he is making those Abdul famous. They are just a bunch of stupid. Stop doing that, David Wood. Oh, come on. I mean, this is really, this guy, David Wood, he is very good at making short videos. But he brings the most dumbest people who know everybody listen to them. And then he make them famous. Mimi Hijab was no one. He's a stupid. He's an idiot. He's a he's a he's a street boy. 
David would make him rich and famous. He, this is what he do. Stop doing that. You know, at least when you want to debate, debate somebody is a scholar. This uh, this uh, bomber, he don't even have a high school. You see, I open my Skype, says anyone can call me. I don't call it debate. You know, we call it a conversation. You can call it a debate if you want. We don't make it official to make them famous. Anyone can call me. Now, if there's anyone would like to call me, they are lined up, they want to debate apostate prophet. They are lined up, they want to talk to David Wood. But here, nobody, nobody. There's a song I sing sometimes, from time to time. Like, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody, da -da -dum, nobody. Abdul. Where is the brave Muslims and the courage and the knowledge? My Skype is open. If you are a Muslim, just text me, tell me I'm a Muslim, and I'm going to call you immediately. And immediately, it's not like Muhammad, when he, they ask him a question, he says, I'm waiting for Jibreel. Immediately mean immediately. So who was a Muslim, Muhammadan, who like to kiss a black stone is willing to call me. And thank you again for the graphic. The dark history of Muhammad. Who can prove to us that Muhammad have anything good on him? Just anything, just mention anything of your choice. And actually, let me let me uh, uh, <coughs> let me make it simple. If you don't call, accepting the challenge, that means you accept that you cannot refute the challenge. Is that fair, people? We are making a challenge live on air. We do not know who is going to call us. So why they will not accept the challenge if they are sure of what they believe? Any Mohammedan? Okay, any half Mohammedan? Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? Any half one? Where is the Sheikh? So you you Muslims agree then that nobody can defend Muhammad. He'd have a dark history. He is an evil person. So nobody is lying then. It's you who's lying. You are brave to make statements in the front of those who do not know the history of your prophet. Here we have all the laundry of Muhammad. Name one underwear in any color you want, and I challenge you to challenge me to show you a story about it. Do we have any Muhammadan? The amazing prophet, the trustworthy prophet. Do you remember the guy he called me last time? Actually, it was a girl. You know, his son, he, I, I think he was acting, claiming to be a guy, you know. That trustworthy prophet, you know, and most of you think he's a kid, but the name in Skype, it says Nasreen, which means it's the name of a girl. So, I, I don't know which moment in the previous video, so we can play it, so we can laugh. The trustworthy prophet, you know, like, and he's, he didn't want to talk about it. He said, hold on, you said trustworthy, let's stop, the investigate. You see what the Muslims do with Muhammad and the black stone worshippers, the pagan Muslims, they, you give them a microphone, and this is what they do with the Christians. They flood you with statement, and Christians don't stop them to investigate to see what you said. So they put 100 things to answer one thing, which is not even an answer. It's just a speech. So the prophet was the most trustworthy, as you know. Like what I know, I know the opposite. That is to stop. 
He says, no, 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 this is not the topic, don't stop. And then we start showing them the reference. This is not a realable, uh, I mean, their books is not realable. Can you believe in this religion? Their own book is not realable. <clears throat> Any Abdul? This is the only religion who says our book is not realable. Just to, to, to Photoshop to Muhammad. You know, they are trying to Photoshop Muhammad by saying our books is full of lies. Well, I agree. Your books is full of lies, including Muhammad is a prophet. I agree with you. All your books is a lie. Have you ever heard of a God? He said to himself, may Allah forgive you. Like what the heck? Abdul in the comment section, he says, how Jesus says that my father is a greater than me. If there is someone above God, <laughs> this is a smart Abdul. You know what happened to Abdul when he started thinking? He got diabetes. His sugar is so high. He, okay, Abdul, I will go with you. How there is God can be above God. But this is Trinity, Jesus speaking to the father. And that's why he's called the Father. Who is the Father? The Father, who is the Son, the Son. So usually the word the Father itself is telling you that Jesus is speaking to the Father as a Father, which means he himself acknowledging that he is the Son and is speaking to the Father. And always my Father is the one who have authority and the one I do what he wish me to do. But remember, the Bible says, that God, he humbled himself, so he took the image and the form of a human. So Jesus is the image or the visible image of the invisible God. But I cannot understand that God who have no trinity, yet he is saying to himself, may Allah forgive you. I could not believe it that there's Abdul in YouTube. He says, Allah, he says, this is the court translation says, pray for not to. Allah, he pray for people, not to. Take a note, please. As if it make a difference. Pray for or not to. Allah, pray for who? <laughs> uh, lunch, uh, hello. My friend, I did not say anything about the word garbage. This is your own words. I did not use Muhammad as garbage. I said the teaching of Islam is garbage. And I have a high respect for garbage because they can be used for recycle. Your prophet is not recyclable. Can you recycle him? By the way, your prophet, he said that graves, the earth will not consume consume the grave, the, the, the body of a prophet. Did you check his grave to see if he is still there or he became consumed and he became rust and dust? Huh? Secondly, as long you are talking about garbage and I don't know why you are using this word. Remember, when you talk to Christian Prince, anything you say is going to use against you. Did he use the word garbage? Why you do that? Why? Look what happened now. You're a prophet. Say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, please. They, they pray on him. He's God. You're a prophet. He take literally shower with garbage. Why you mention the word garbage? Why? Why you did that? Look, it is, was your choice, not mine. You remember I told you anything you say, any underwear you chose of Muhammad, it doesn't matter what the color is, I will show you a story about it. That's what I meant. Now you mention that you're a prophet wearing underwear of a garbage. What kind of a prophet? He jumped in a water full of garbage. And this is your translation. I wish it's mine. You see, if this is mine, look, the Abdul saying stop lying. Guys, look at this. This Abdul, he is saying to me, stop lying. And I'm showing him the hadith in the screen from his Islamic website in his Islamic book. Christian Prince, stop lying. Brother Tita, did the person in the Christian Prince? 
And that guy, he keeps, he don't the line. Exactly. I'm showing the hadith number. It says, Hassan, good. Hassan is one of the grandsons of Muhammad names, you know, which is good. Stop lying. Let them prince. I'm going to get you, but then. the prophet at that time, he was using garbage with a very clean. Exactly. Like, there's a garbage which is clean and garbage not clean. Exactly. Other example, if you go to this area, where? To a rich area. Where, where? What does that mean? If you go, example, to Hollywood, uh, and actually living there, okay, don't you know that their garbage is very, very nice and smells so good? Uh, so your prophet used to jump in the dumpster of a rich people only. Exactly. And now I get you, but then, are you there, Mr. Uh, Lunch? Hello? Hello? Look, your name is Hello? Hello, Malo. How do you do? Every Muhammad wait for you. For you. Can you call me defend Muhammad? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Hello, hello, how are you? Garbage, garbage upon you. So the Prophet, he said, it was said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, do you perform wudu from a well which the bodies of dogs? Like what? Like what? The body of dogs, I mean, they are not even living dogs. Those are dead dogs. Like they don't even cannot talk no more. Who dress, who uh, cares if the water was garbage? What difference does it make for in your life? Look at this, guys. Somebody called the United Nations. I think we need to print this statement in the top of the United Nations so we can support the environment environment great temperance who cares if the water was garbage what difference does it make for your to your life <laughs> I mean look at the refutation look at this what I can do I got what got defeated what that will do to me, I ain't different anyway. Come on, like you don't uh, jump in that garbage water. <laughs> That's deep. That's really deep. My friend, I think I need to learn from you how to debate. Where do you get your skills from? Ah, you must be a genie. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was wondering this name, why it's so long and have numbers. 560? So you are genie number 560, admit it. Is it true, by the way, that your prophet, he might he met with a bunch of genie and he recited Quran for them and they converted to Islam? Is that true? And as usual, nobody was there. Everything happened when there's nobody was there. Mean genie? converted to Islam actually yeah hold on not only the genie converted to Islam shaitan he converted to Islam and not only he converted to Islam he ordered the prophet and he gave him good commands like can you believe it the prophet he received command from the devil look at this look and now this guy he will say to me what difference does it make for you if the prophet received command from the devil or not what's the difference for you you must be from India my friend aren't you they're very fast in talking. I like Indian people. I like their curry too. But the best I like about Indian people is their movies. Like you will watch watching an action movie. Suddenly there's 10,000 people from the middle of nowhere dancing and singing. Like where in the world did those come from? Don't ask. Don't tell. This is exactly what happened in Islam. Nobody questioned anything. It's an Indian movie. I mean, can you tell me where those 10,000 people, they are dancing, coming from? The guy was alone. The woman, she was alone with him. And supposedly they are meeting secretly. And then suddenly in the background, there's like 12,000, 20,000. I have no idea how many. All of them, the mini, mini, he, he, he. You know, I like the Indian music, by the way. It's nothing wrong with it. But the story doesn't make any sense. That is the Quran. That said, the prophet said, as long as the prophet said, it makes sense. <laughs> Indian movie. <laughs>
By the way, I don't understand what is behind the name Bollywood. What does that mean? They made the movies from Bolly and they put wood with it. I'm not sure what the name is like. Bollywood, Hollywood. What is that, man? Secretly, the Muslims soon they will find the verse in the Quran about it and they will say scientific discovery. Just wait, it's coming. Realize you had no response for my reply because you learn not to reply whatever you say is going to be used against you as it as <laughs> and suppose that he being wise now he's not going to respond so why are you responding <laughs> by the way when i go to india one day you know i love indian people they are nice people and i like indian food but too spicy oh boy and you eat Indian food, you will meet Allah personally, literally. You will feel like you are in hell with Allah. Join the scenery. So do we have any Abdul would like to call us and prove to us that Muhammad, he don't have dark history? I mean, we did not start. We found that Muhammad jumped in the garbage. He takes shower with dead dogs and uh, women blood from period. In the top of that, he received command from the devil. Yeah, my friend, Muhammad, he make a difference for our life. This is why. Let me tell you about the difference of Prophet Muhammad in our life. Thank you for giving me uh, some help. Let us see how Muhammad make a difference for our life. As an example, I have to take off my shoes and my belt when I go in the airport. Just because of Muhammad. Additional to that, we have to wait for many hours for security check because Muhammad was a very peaceful prophet. If you speak in the airport in Arabic, everybody will look at you. I have my mother, my poor mother. She was reading the Bible in Arabic. The woman next to her, she decided to move because she said she thought she was reading Quran. So do you see the impact of this filthy scumbag prophet? I hope I help you with the answer. Even your own government, they have an army to watch true believers to arrest them and even kill them. This is why a true believer in Islam, none of those people who you see in YouTube is a true believer. The true, true believer, they will practice Islam, but none of them practice Islam. Do this guy as an example practice Islam? Do he dare to beat any women? Do he dare in America? Do he dare? Do he dare to have four wives? Do he dare to say we will force the Christian to pay Jizya? Do he dare? Do he dare we should say we should kill the, those who they don't uh, believe in Allah and the last messenger? They don't. Because simply they don't. They are, you know, they are cowards. Do we have any brave Abdul? If you are a Christian and you text me, I will block you immediately. Don't text me. Cowards, potatoes, and here we are exposing the history, the filthy history of your prophet. And none of you can really refute us. This is the truth. And by the way, just to let you know, we don't hate the Muslims and we will never hate them. We believe that Muslims are victims of the faith of Muhammad. Uh, my friend, I'm not the one who is calling your prophet filthy. It is you. Okay, hold on. If I asked you, Mr. Lunch, Lunch, uh, Lunch Head, is sin in the Quran considered filthy? Is sin in the Quran considered filthy? I want an answer. Who is a Muslim want to help us? Is sin in Islam considered filthy or good? The answer no. In Islam, sin is a great fault or a great, a great fruit of the Muslim. What Islam did, he called the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhas, filthy, najis. In the same time, they said to you, stop calling us, calling our prophet filthy. So why we cannot call the one who called us filthy, call him filthy, and we can prove it. In the same time, this filthy prophet 
is the one who promoted every filthy thing to make it legal, as an example. Some Muslims, they get upset from me when I say to them, sons of muta. Okay, why you get upset? They say to you, muta mean prostitution. Ah, uh, so if muta is a prostitution, why your prophet promote muta? Why your God, he allow you to rent a woman for three days, three times, three, three nights? Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? Is it filthy to be a prophet of God and promoting that you can sleep with the women for three days, three nights, and you pay her money? And you pay her money not just to sleep it's not a boyfriend and girlfriend it's not a favor for free it is not a freedom a, 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 a friend relationship it is business so if muhammad is not filthy how he is sent by god and then his god told him tell your followers that muslim women they can rent themselves to anyone who can afford it. Is that filthy or great? Notice, until now, zero Abdul dare to call me. The Quran doesn't call me filthy. I think you are not a Muslim. Yeah, just let me block you. No, the Quran call me Najis, you are stupid. I will put you into block. I think you're just uh, trolling. Because any Muslim he knew that the Quran says anyone who is not a believer is Najis. The Quran does not say that you are filthy, stop lying. Troll. Like your prophet. وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ Najis. Chapter 9, verse 28. The verse after it, it says, kill the Christians, kill the Jews, until they pay you money. Doesn't say no in the Quran says you to all not it. Just give me a second. All right, I apologize for that. I forgot I'm cooking. <laughs> this is what happened to you when you are cooking and you go live on air. You forgot about everything. Uh, but thank God, nothing, nothing burned. You see, I am cooking here, Muhammad, and I'm cooking in the kitchen something else. Now, who is a Muhammadan? I smelled like, like what? Did I just forgot something? <laughs> Unbelievable. But thank God it's perfect. Yummy, yummy. So do we have any Abdul? Anyone? What are you cooking? Well, here I'm cooking Muhammad. This is what you care for now. Don't, don't think I'm going to invite you to eat with me. First, first of all, Shouldn't you ask me if my food is halal? I mean, look at this stupid religion. They worry about eating pork, but sleeping with the children is okay. They worry about eating pork, but renting a woman for one night stand is okay. I mean, look how decent we are. Brother, 
brother. We don't eat pork. I'm telling you. That's all what you need to know. Hey, brother, so what do you think about renting women for boom boom? Brother, as long you are doing it halal, this is halal fun. Do you remember when Zakir Naik he says halal fun? <laughs> the guy, the guy, he said to him, "Well, if music is haram, watching TV is haram, watching movies is haram. So what is halal? What is how we can have fun?" Zuzu, he said to him, "Oh, hold on, I will give you the answer, brother. It have to be halal fun. Like what? What is that mean?" Okay, you know what? I will give you a second chance opportunity. Who is a Muhammad and he can call us and tell us what is halal fun? I like halal fun. Is that including renting women for one night or two night stand? And this is supposedly legal? And this is halal? The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I want to have halal fun. How much? Halal fun, here we go in front of us. And by the way, in case you do not know, the Muslim they call what they call marriage. All those activities, they call it marriage. The wife your friend, like you supposedly you marry a friend, but in fact, she is not your wife. You don't even sit with her in one house. When you are horny, you call her, you go to the hotel. They call it the wife your friend. They have as a wife, it's called the wife monsieur. They have, a, they have a marriage, a travel marriage. Like you go to a different country, like carrying your laptop. Why you want to carry your wife with you? You go to the hotel, you tell them, I am going to stay here for two weeks. Can you find me to a wife for two weeks? This is Islam. And I challenge any Muslim to say that's not true. And supposedly the purpose is to be lawful sex. Look how lawful. This is why if you go in hotels, you will see a bunch of women prostitute waiting in front of the hotels, especially fancy hotels. And they are wearing hijab. But why she is wearing hijab? Because those are halal wives. You come to the hotel, she said, do you want to marry a woman for two weeks? And let us agree how much you will pay me. And supposedly this is marriage, brother. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? Uh, uh, Mustad Ahmad, you see, the Mustad Ahmad. Uh, it, it is not considered from the, if you go right now, let us show you. The one is asking about Sahih and Da'if Hadith. Let me do this. If you search in Google for the Sahih, there are six books or six writers. All right. <clears throat> there is six writers and then you will see it says the six authentic books of hadith if you go down here the muslim they will not consider musnad ahmad as one of them but just show you the irony the muslim when they quote for you that there is no you know there is no white there is no black there is no etc the best of you is the one who is etc to allah this is from that book the muslim they consider and this hadith actually specifically this hadith not only is weak there's no proof of it so sahih al-bukhari sahih muslim 
أبي داود النسائي ابن ماجة those are the six hadith which is authentic but now we are quoting for them from those books still they say we don't accept them uh, do you believe that Jesus Christ and the Father Yahweh is the same uh, I don't know what you mean by the same we Christians we believe in Arabic we say oknum. in English they say a person so we believe that the Father is not the same person as the son. This is why the son is called the son and the father called the father. All right. Uh, let us see. There's a Muslim trying to call us, maybe. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing that this is a Muslim from Nigeria. Let us see. Maybe. Let's see. Hello. Hello? Hello? That's Daddy Ultimate, run! Here we go, see, fuck. did I tell you, he said, did he say the F word? <laughs> yes. Why you say the F word? <laughs> because you are a motherfucking runner. <laughs> you are a son of Muta. Explain to us, that explain why I don't speak to filthy people like you. A person is calling me to defend his religion. He don't believe in his religion. He don't believe in the interpretation. He don't believe in the hadith. And the first word he said to me, the F word. Son of Muta. From their fruits, you shall know them. They are the same as their prophet. So imagine this person was one of the uh, uh, campaign of Muhammad. He want to debate a Christian. See, he said to him, the F word. <laughs> That's not really strange, by the way. Muhammad, he said to a person who he don't like what he is proud about. Tell him to go and bite the penis of his father. So why this ultimate fart from Nigeria? I don't know. He's from where? Nigeria? I think from Ghana. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Why he would be better? He is filthy the same as his prophet. So this is the Muslim that you got to, to talk to me, Muhammadan? This is the one you got for me? Trashy piece of garbage? This, this is the one who would debate Islam and defend Islam? And remember, we have tons of videos for this guy. Go and watch them and laugh. And this is why this person is so upset because each time he called me, he got spanked. I have I have marks of my fingers all over. If one day he die and somebody some, did something to him, the police they might think I'm the one who did it because I have my fingers all over his bum. <laughs> who is a Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? dare to call me and tell us that we are wrong anyone uh, thomas can you explain uh, my friend we have a we have a page only for the bible and we can explain that to you but it sounds like you are here coming to do investigation uh, thomas is being smart is the father is the same as the son? <laughs> Can you explain to us, John? <laughs> you know, people are really funny. Uh, some people, they are a growing men. Some people, they are just a growing kids. Choose one. You will know yourself. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? and show us that he's a prophet don't have a dark history he was a trustworthy as the muhammadan they claim anyone any muhammadan Uh, CP has no chance, but he is thinking that people that are 90 years old will come to Skype. Nobody knows Skype this age. He needs to meet them in person. Hey, hold on. I don't know. You must be a genius. I never heard of somebody. He is 90 years old and he can debate anyone. Hardly he can breathe. Your prophet was not even 60, and he can't even go to the bathroom. Christian Prince, he thinks that people who they are 90 years old, 
they will come to where you all your scholars they are not even uh, the one you call them scholars they are not even 50. the good prince he think people who they are 90 years old they cannot come to you do them both type as if they are you that and trust me my friend all those the 90 years old muslims they have phone and they watch porn go and check in google number one country in the world search for porn with camel or donkey is from Pakistan, which is Pakistan. Do you think not 90 years old person will come to Skype and talk of this, of that? Are you 90 years old person? Why you don't come? Suddenly now all the Muslims who have knowledge of Islam, they are 90 years old. I don't know, the picture in front of me of Abdul, he is not 90. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? <clears throat> I am not a scholar. I have a uh, I have a question. I uh, I only take calls from Muslims. Why people don't listen? If you are a Muslim, and if you are a Fethi, you will say the Fethi language. I will hang up on you and block you. Who care? You will help me actually to prove that the whole point is Islam is bad. All right. <clears throat> uh we have here i don't know if this guy but he called from before let us see give him a chance well, he is not online so you are a muslim oh, okay you are not uh not ultimate four <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ultimate, how are you? Yeah, that's your daddy. You see me? Yeah, I see you. here we go. Let us laugh. Why you say the run. F word? Why you say the F word? I'm saying you you calling us Abduls. You you call us son of Mutas. Okay, so is Muta bad? So then so is then you, what is the F word? Is, is Muta bad? I said you calling me a son of Muta, right? Is is, is Muta bad? Knowing that, knowing that your dad didn't marry your man till okay, she was okay, 50. Hold on. So uh, are no. you saying that Muta is bad? Either you say I yes said or you say you no. You are calling us son of Mutas, right? You you are a son of Muta. I'm wrong. just saying. What is okay, your, you 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 said? Go. Hold on, hold on. Is it in the Quran, chapter what? four, verse twenty-four says you are a son of Muta? I said you're telling us son of Mutas, right? Yes. Am I a son of Mutas? Saying, the Quran, I'm reading the Quran. The Quran says that every one of you is son of Muta. Chapter four, verse twenty-four. Open and read it. Oh, oh, read it, liar. Yeah, read it. You read it. Aren't you the aren't you one oh, who okay. came to be? Aren't you the one I who came to be a sheikh? Me? Aren't you the one who came to be a sheikh? Can you see me? I'm in the car sitting. Hey, you're in the see bathroom me? now. Who care? Aren't I am, you a sheikh? I am video a, calling a you. A sheikh, a sheikh who don't remember his Quran. I am so video okay. calling him. Okay, uh, listen. First of all, you're driving. First I of all, video you calling are you. not driving. You are in the parking lot. You have no excuse. Yes. Doesn't, matter, doesn't make any difference if you are home or in the car. I'm a read verse. Me, read for me, chapter oh. four, verse twenty-four. How am I read it? I, I I don't have it with me. Why you don't have read. it? Op open it now and read it. I, I don't have the okay, book with me. I, I will give you. I will give you five minutes to read, and I will call you back. Is that okay? I don't have a five. Well, no, what did you have? have five minutes. You don't have five minutes for Allah. You don't have five minutes for Allah. Look around me. In the trees and things. So okay, I am well, not he, with he, me. He, I can he is in the bathroom. You. He is in the bathroom. Okay. When you come back, when you are home, call Ooh. me. Then you are just making an excuse, and you are again son of Muta. It's not me who's saying that. This is the Quran. When a coward, he say, we are making things up, we laugh at you, here we go, this is your Quran, and this is the interpretation for the Quran, and now he will say, oh, this is a stupid Muslim saying that, so if a stupid Muslim saying that, we'll answer the Muslim who is saying that, and all the Muslims saying that, only you who don't say it, because you are a false Muslim. Is that your book? Is that your religion? Is that your prophet saying any pro any women, any man, they can stay together for three days, three nights? So what the excuse will be? Oh, those are the stupid Muslims saying that. 
I don't agree with this. Who are you? You are nobody. You should seek with your money marrying women for an agreed period. زواج المتعة. Now the coward you will say, I don't agree. Who care? This is your Quran. And this is what it meant. I am in the car right now. I cannot talk to you. I cannot open the verse. I cannot read the verse. But yet he claimed to be a sheikh. <laughs> and he is in the parking lot. He is not even driving. You are son of Mutahi. We got the Quran saying so. A Muslim man should seek with his money marrying a woman for agreed period of time and here in bracket me zoom in so everybody can see it Zawajul Muta Christian Prince you are lying we Muslims don't believe in Muta this is not true and then if we go to Muslim website to explain more details look what they will say hold on we are, we are not done just let me give me a second <laughs> Christian Prince, do you see what around me? Hey, by the way, where do you get this car from? Did you restore it? Or you rented? Ah, you have a Muta car. <laughs> so he's upset for reading for him his book. He is doing Muta to the car now. He rented the car for a period of time. Read carefully with me. This is the Muslims, the Muhammadan website, not my website. I have nothing to do with it. Alislam.org. The four pillars of Muta. The four pillars. Oh yeah, they have pillars. <laughs> I mean, <they're laughs> and then he continues says, brother, in Islam, brother, you can rent a woman. What? Read yes, it's not me who's saying that. In some work, special terms applied is applied to women who participate in muta. Musta'ajara. Or rented women. Why this guy is upset? Can anyone tell me why this guy is upset? And if muta is really ugly and disgusting, and you say this is the F word, well, your prophet is the one who says that your father, he can F your mother for a period of time renting her. This is not my words. Al-Islam.org, everybody can go check it out. This is not a Christian website. This is not an atheist website. This is have nothing to do with the Jews, with the Hindus, with the Christian, with the atheist. This is a pure Islamic website rented women and this is the link here we go i will post the link for everybody alhamdulillah and then he says in defining a rental in the the jurist test it says it's a gain the position of benefit in exchange for a specific sum oof, 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 oof. <laughs> and here it says in generally in general because in general, the basic aim of a man, or in this kind of marriage, is a sexual enjoyment of women. And in return for his enjoyment, the women receive a certain amount of money or property. And this guy is upset. I will call him. Listen what he will say now. I don't agree with those guys. They are liars. Those are the Arab are a bunch of liars. <laughs> Mute YouTube. Mute it. So did you see the What's reference up? or not? Did you, see the refer did you see the reference or not? Did you see the reference, what reference? in front of your eyes? What reference? What reference? Uh, I'm not here watching you. What reference? Hey, just go stupid. Idiot. You know, we gave you some attention. Anyway, guys, anyone want to watch a comedian, you want to laugh, search for ultimate fort. Just search for that word and you will die laughing about how this guy, he debated me. Uh, okay.
Christian Prince, I cannot call you right now, but you are you afraid to show uh, show all your fellow work Quran 16, 23? My friend, why are you afraid to call me right now? Call me, here we go. <laughs> and you show it, go ahead. funny he's saying why you are not showing this verse to people are you afraid and you don't want to call okay you call me we are here together so we, everybody will laugh <laughs> can you show chapter 16 verse 1 over 3 okay let's go there uh, you know this is what he said to me here let me show you Christian Prince I cannot call you right now but you are afraid to show the, your follower Quran 16 103. That's that's deep, brother. Are you sure you want me to show them chapter 16 or only 16 13? You want me to show them the full comedy or part of it, brother? Okay, let us go one, one, uh, 103. Look at this. And indeed, indeed, we know that they, they who, between two brackets, the polytheist and the pagan, but Muslims are pagan and polytheist, they kiss a black stone and they believe Allah has a partner, his name is Muhammad, this is what Shahada is about. It's only, but say it's only human being who teach him the tongue of the men they were referred is foreign while the Quran is a clear in tongue in Arabic. This is the most stupid comedian verse again at first. First of all, what is behind this verse? Like Muhammad, he go and he sit between with the two Christian slaves. And they are teaching him. And right away after he leave them, he says something, he'll just learn from them. So they said, we know who's teaching him. Because those slaves, they say, we taught him this. The answer of Muhammad is, well, those slaves, they speak Arabic, but they are not really that good in Arabic. And this is supposedly a pure Arabic. Okay, as long as it's a pure Arabic, so why we are debating about the muta? <laughs> why you Muslim can't understand the Quran? Why the Quran itself says nobody understand the Quran save Allah? If this is a clear Arabic, I mean, do you see how clear it is? And then, just to show you how stupid the same Quran you are giving me, verse 104 says, Verily, those who believe not in ayat, which means the Quran, Allah will not guide them, so Allah will guide who? And guess what? Those verses was about people of Quraysh, and later all of them become Muslims. So this is again a false prophecy of the false prophet. He claimed that Allah will not guide them. And not only that, if we continue reading, it says, and whoever disbelieves in Allah, whoever disbelieves in Allah, this is speaking about the upper state, after his belief, after his belief, except the one who they've been forced to leave Islam by force, but the one who live willingly, huh? Allah will be angry for them forever. Shall I show you how many Muslims went back to Islam after the war of apostate in the history of Islam? Or about the companions who some of them they left Islam and they later they become Muslims? Did Allah forgive them or not? This is a stupid book, my friend. In the same book, uh, it says that the reason people don't accept Islam because Allah he sealed their heart their ears and their eyes so why you are blaming them have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this he is the one who sealed our heart he is the one who closed our ears 
and we are the one to be blamed. Mm. Even if a Mufti Mink would call you, you would hang up on him and say he is a trolling. No, I never, I never hang up on any shaky call. We go and see all the history of my debates. Those are kids. They can say whatever they want. And you are a potato. All those who they are shake and they call me, you will see my call is there. I never hang up on them. And actually, I am the one who was asking them to stay more. So this is a false excuse. This guy, he don't believe in the Hadith. This guy believe the Arab are stupid and they are sons of Muta. This guy, he believe in the, uh, all the interpretation is fabricated. This guy, he believe that you should not know Arabic to understand the Quran, yet he cannot understand the Quran in Arabic. So this guy is a kid, he's a stupid. This is why the first word he said to me, F word. So if this is the best example you have, well then this is, you, you are telling me that all Muslims are, are like this. However, I never hang up in somebody who is a sheikh. Never. Never, ever, ever. When I called last time Mimi Hijab, he hung up on me seven times and he did not let me talk. And he's not a sheikh, he's just a potato. He was so much intimidated, he was afraid that I will ask a question. Did you say that? Did you say that? Hang up on him. Because he was so terrified. He have seven people waiting for me there and he put the speaker so people will not hear me far away from his microphone. So whatever I say, only him and those guys there will hear it. They are very much intimidated. Dude, just accept the fact. You never debated. You need a control. Dude, you remind me of you coward when the prophet, the Christians, they came to him. And they keep asking him, when you are going to debate us, and they spend the whole day and your prophet never answer. You want to show you the reference? Coward son of Muta Muhammad. All of you want to debate apostate prophet. All of you, you want to ambush him. Why you don't ambush me? You go live, I cannot mute you. You are live in your channel. People still can hear you. You go live in your channel, you call me. It's false excuse. If I hang up on you and you are a sheikh, eh, you say, see, look what happened. But all of those who claim that I will hang up on them, they never tried to call me once. We hang up on kids like this. And especially if they are very rude. Who dare? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, they expose you, you know. Hmm. We schedule a debate with the, with his name, what's his name? Uh, Shabir Ali. We schedule a debate. I told ABN TV not to mention to him who is the one who will debate with him, with him. But those guys, you know, they don't know, uh, in Christians, you know, they are very good hearted. He asked them, okay, who is this Christian? In the beginning, they told him Christian Prince, he agreed, and we set up the date. Then he went and he bought my book from Amazon. After he read my book, he emailed him back saying, I apologize, I am busy with my PhD. And since then, he is busy. And even once, a Christian was attending a debate, or it's so-called debate, as usual, there's Muslim, Muslims don't debate. Muslims, you have to corner them. You cannot debate a certified liar. It will never happen. Uh, they ask him, when you are going to debate Christian Prince? When? What the answer of uh, Shabir Ali? This is in TV. I can't hang up on him. The mic right there. Hello? 
Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh, Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has uh, been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far uh, as I can remember. Uh -huh. uh, he contacted me a long time ago asking if I would debate him and I said yes. Uh, uh, I never contacted him. I never asked him to debate me. Never. I challenge everybody, this is true. But I never contacted the guy. I did not know his email. Actually, I think once I emailed him. You know, because they, they shared the email with me from ABN TV, maybe I should. And uh, I think I, uh, I don't know if I emailed him or not. I'm not sure really. But I made a video about him ordering my book. And that's why he admitted before before he even refused to admit that he bought my books. Listen carefully. And and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, and um, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. then I, I don't want to say anything about him because uh, he's not here. Yeah, but, yeah. but I suppose that he can say it if I'm there. So he bought my books. He said to himself, who am I is going to, uh, you know, this guy will make me shish kebab in two seconds. This guy, he debate everybody. Everybody. And this is in TV. There's no, nobody will hang up on you. He will be in TV. I will not be now. I will be, I will be in the phone. He will be in TV. People will see him. All right. Uh, book 54, Hadith 149. This is where I get you exposed. Why you don't call me, Balabos? Why you don't call me and read for me the book you are reading from? So we can laugh. Guys, what do you think about this guy? A guy, he's saying he can get me busted. And I promise you in front of everybody, if you don't go speak the F word and bad language, I will never hang up on you. I hang up on people who make it personal. Do you dare to call me right now and read for me the book you are calling? You are saying you want to read for us? Which is going to expose us? Huh? And this is the hadith you want me to show? Are you sure? Abdul, I want you in front of everybody. If you are man enough to call me and read what you just said to me. Do you have the courage? Chris Prince, book 54, Hadith 149. This part where you got exposed, it clearly thought that Cyprus had a big part and you never mention it. Cyprus? have a big part and you never mention it really oh, okay so al jassasa and the antichrist they live in cyprus <laughs> you're trying to fix it now you are trying to fix it you potato are you saying to me that al jassasa and the antichrist they live in cyprus Hmm? What Cyrus? And this is the hadith you just quote for me. I'm trying to read the word Cyrus. Where is the word Cyrus there? And actually, this is a proof that your prophet is a fraud. Because if a Dajjal was exist at that time, the Antichrist, and is Cyrus, where is he now? <laughs> and why he did not come? And then it says here that he is waiting. Uh, there is a there is a uh, there is a lake is going to be uh, going to dry soon. Let us laugh together about this hadith. Are you sure you are not? Uh, you are you are a Muslim? Because it sounds like you are giving me a hand. I know. This is one of the additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. A man, he came to him. He started telling him a story. Obviously, it's a fiction story. 
Muhammad because he's a fool and he's a false prophet. He listened to the guy's story right away. He went out and he told them that this is what Allah told him or this is what he received or this is what is true. And all the story proving that Muhammad is a fraud. Who dare to call me and read it for me? Do you? Any Abdul? Read carefully where Muhammad he got his religion from. Fatima bin to Qais, etc., narrated from the Messenger of Allah and now blah 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 blah. That verily Tamim, uh, 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 Tamim, this is that guy, his name is Tamim. He narrated a story to me and it made me happy. <laughs> okay, who is the one who told you the story? <laughs> A guy, his name is Tamim. Is he an uh, angel of Allah? No. Is he God? No. What is the story saying? And Muhammad, he believed every word in there. It make him happy. It says here, Some people among the inhabitants of Palestine traveled by boat in the sea, taking them where? Here and there, until it cast them on an island among the islands at the sea hey, how many islands there is in the Mediterranean Sea in the middle there is only one Cyprus the big one there's little tiny ones but anyway let us see what happened here they found a beast clothed with hair flowing out they said what are you it said I am a Jassasa <laughs> are you there Abdul I honestly, I would love to hear you calling me a read the story. How your stupid prophet, he copied a story from a man. Obviously, it's a fiction story and he believed this is a true story. If this is a prophet, okay, if it's a beast, they are speaking to the beast. Beast covered by hair. It's not a human. Are you there, Abdul? So this is the story you want to get me busted with? Why well, you don't call me a read? So a guy, his name is Tamim Dari. He, uh, he, uh, he told Muhammad this story, and Muhammad, he believed in this story, and he started telling everybody about it. Look what happened after. They said, she said, I am a Jassasa. They said, uh, give us some news. What? Why are you asking the beast to give you news? I mean, what is that? She is a, she is a CNN anchor. It said, I shall not give you any news, nor do I want any of your news. Like, what the heck? This is a beast. She don't want... Uh... <laughs> My friend, who cares if this is Cyprus or not? You are a stupid monkey. Guys, do you agree this is Cyprus? Who cares if this is Cyprus or not? You're a prophet. He's never been there. And the word Cyprus is not mentioned in the hate in front of me. And if, it's, if it is Cyprus, that will make it more stupid. Does it really make a difference? It is in the Mediterranean Sea. And those are people from Palestine. And they are, the, the, the ship sent them to that island. Okay. And there they found the beast who speak Arabic. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and this is in the time of Muhammad. But make it more stupid. This has happened in the time of Muhammad, not in the past. And that in the island there, there is, there, there is a, the, the, the Jah. They meet at the Jal himself. So the Jal is not coming later. The Jal was existing in time of Muhammad. And then she said to them, I don't want your news. And then they want to I'll give you your news. But go far this village. Village? The prophet never was. You say prophet was never in Cyprus. Showed you have no clue. Okay, guys, I have no clue. The prophet was in Cyprus. You stupid. Even the hadith says in the front of you, you donkey. Just, just get out of here. I mean, where are those kids coming from me? It says it's not your prophet who went to the, the, the to the island, you donkey. It says Tamim Udari told me. Stupid. It doesn't say that your prophet he went there. Tamim Udari told me. If your prophet was there, he do not need Tamim Udari to tell him. 
It's food. It's food, my friend. The Muslim, they say, you are what you eat. Do you eat pork? Yeah, you drink camel urine. Are you piss? Are you? Are you pissing in your pants now? So your prophet did not go there because if he go there, he did not need the guy to tell him the story. He was going to say, I saw. Verily Tamim Uddari narrated a story for me. Where are those people coming from? What they eat for living? What they do for living? What they do? Unbelievable. And then he continued. So she told him, okay, go in the village. Uh -huh. What do we do in the village? Do in the village? Okay. For someone who will give you news. Ah, look at the mystery. Amar Rabbi Amar. The news is coming from every Amar. Every Makan. And then, so you went to the farthest village and there was a man fettered with a chain. Like, what the heck? This guy is fettered with a chain? He can't break it? No. Who is the one who put him in chain? Allah? Oh. Allah, he put him in chain, he put him in Cyprus. Uh -huh. By the way, which place in Cyprus? The Turkish side, which occupied by the by the Turkish, by Erdogan and his uh, coward army, or the Greek one? Just let me know, I mean, so we can go and look. He said, inform me about the spring of the car. We said, it's full, it's full, it's full. And it's flowing. Flowing. It's flowing. <laughs> we said it's full and it's flowing. And then he said, inform me about Al-Buhaira. Like, what the heck, Al-Buhaira? What does that mean? The lake? What is that? Ah. Mm. Bisan, Bisan, my friend. We said, it's full. I'm flowing. By the way, how they answer him before even they knew what he's talking about. There's many lakes. Which lake? He said, inform me about the grove of Besan, which is between Jordan and Palestine. Do they produce food? We said, yes. Yes, yes. And we are proud about it. I should look for that part in Ali Dawa recording. Uh, I will copy those things from uh, David Wood video about, uh, we are proud about it. I love it. Yes, he said, inform me about the prophet. Here we go. Now we go. This is why Muhammad was so happy. The guy, he told him, do you know that there is a beast speaking about you? And there is a Dajjal, the Antichrist is already in the island. And he was asking about you. Tell me about the prophet. Has he been sent? He said, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, hold on. Those people are from Palestine. How they knew about Muhammad? He did not even go there yet to be announced as a prophet yet. He did not occupy that area. He said, inform me about the people come to him. He said, quickly. People come to him quickly, but they never leave. The one who leave, we cut his chair. You know, okay. He leapt up and tried to escape. Mm, trying to, uh, to to break the chain. Uh, uh, because they told me people are coming to him quickly. Oh, I don't want to hear that. At the jail. He's so upset. We said... What are you? Now you ask him, what are you? I mean, the, you, you told him all the news in your kitchen. And now you remember to tell him, who are you? I think those, they work for Arabian Intelligence Department. They are super intelligent. The guy, he got all the questions and then now did not ask him, who are you yet? That's deep. We said, what are you? Okay, what are you? Tell us, tell us, what are you? He said, Oh, yeah, at the job. Have you ever heard of somebody saying that he's a liar? The job means the liar, you stupid. 
the guy who will say he's a liar? Like, what the heck? That's deep. That's deep as my deep friar. The prophet is A.W. said, it's A.W. by the way, it's like satanic, authentic, widespread belief, the prophet Muhammad. He said, he will enter all the land except the Taiba and the Taiba and Medina. Okay, Muslims. So as long as the Jah was exist 1400 years ago, what happened? Yeah, this is a true story. Any Abdul? And this is the one you want me to show you to get me busted? And like, hold on, this is Sahih. Brother, this is authentic story. They can't say it's a Daif story. Muhammad believe it, it's a true story. Where Muhammad you receive information from? A guy told him a story. Uh, do we have any brave Abdul would like to call us? Maybe, maybe. Anyone? Anyone? That deep CP voice? I know nothing about my voice. I have a lot. You know, I can make, I can, what they say in English? I can mimic many voices. Do we have any Abdul? So look what's happening. Muslims are scheduling debate for the coming century with apostate prophet, with David Wood. Nobody there to call me except prophet ultimate for peace be upon him. Who always have excuse not to read. Don't you see? I am in the car. The guy is so happy. Maybe he stole the car or he rented it from somebody. And he want to show me that he have a nice car now. Do you see I am in the car now? Okay. And? Why are you are calling me if you are in the car? Are you expecting me not to ask you to read? Don't you know that supposed you are calling me to refute me? So you are calling me for what reason? I mean, they are so, so smart. I have to agree, you know. They are a genius. Now we go back to zero. Back to zero. What the heck? What, why you are making it so long? Because Muslims, they like echo and long stories. Did you see the recitation of Mimi Hijab reciting the Quran with echo? They love echo. They try to add some, they are obsessed with the echo. They think that will make the Quran, stupid Quran, holy Quran. So he 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 did read the Quran to to Borat. Borat, he did not get anything like, okay, why you are reading for me in language? Like, why you are chanting or singing for me? Mimi Hijab said to him, because we believe that uh, this will have impact, you know, like impact. And the guy was saying to himself, what the heck, what impact you did to me, man? I'm getting dizzy. And this remind me of your prophet when he received Quran. He Muslims, remember our topic today, the dark history of Muhammad. Do you know that part of the dark history of Muhammad that he used to receive Quran in the sound of a bell? Jungle bells, jungle bells, jungle all the way. Christmas here, Christmas here, Christmas all the way. Hey, Muhammad, you receive Quran with the bells of Santa Claus? Like, what the heck? If you don't believe me, let me show you the reference. And I know you don't believe me, you are a Muslim. 
You Muslim don't believe no one, even your prophet. We show your prophet says, you said, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The prophet says that they don't believe it. Just because it's me who's reading it for you. If you're reading alone, you say, I believe it. Potato. Oh. Switch to Arabic. Read with me, brother and sisters. The one who was bringing the Quran for Muhammad was Santa Claus. It was in Jibreel. Actually, you know what? If you are going to download this video, I wanted to make a short video about this. Just short video about this. And make a title. The one who brought the Quran for Muhammad was not Allah, was not Jibreel, it was Santa Claus, and this is the proof. Read carefully. They asked the Prophet of Allah, how does the Wahi? I mean, guys, have you ever heard of Wahi? I mean, Wahi means inspiration. But Muhammad, he did not receive inspiration. He was receiving the delivery by the pizza guy. I mean, have you? So, so now if, uh, if Amazon come to my door and he gave me a package, that is Wahi? May Allah Wahi you? Wahi Wahi. How does the inspirations come to you, Prophet? Mm. Uh, no, hold on. We need we need some uh, music, a little instrument here. Oh, this is very serious. This is really serious. You know, take a seat. Take a seat. Let me find uh, something fit with this. Prophet, how? How the inspirations comes to you? How is the I'm going to tell you the truth. If you are listening to the truth from the Prophet Muhammad, please don't forget to give a like or dislike because we like your like and dislike in the same time. The more like and dislike you give us, Allah will like you and hate me and Allah will hate me and like you. Think about it, don't get dizzy. Going back to zero. <laughs> If you are going to buy a gift in the Christmas for your family, your wife, or your children, don't forget to buy it immediately because the prices are increasing. And now the end of the commercial break. Going back to the profit. At the times, at the times come to me like a ring. Commercial break. If you are experiencing any severe weather, please don't forget to buy our product. It's a food you can save for centuries. Hurricane, parokine, corokine, all kind of cane. Don't worry. Be happy. Severe weather will never impact you because you are protected by our blanket, which made in China, sold by America, and taxed by USA. Going back to the profit. I'm not sure. It was really severe. It's severe to me at least. Very severe.
commercial break. Bill Sound. If you are a person who is in love with Bill, we have all kinds of bills for you. If you don't like this bill, we have a school bill that will make you feel younger and you are not old no more. However, if you are a person who likes to annoy your neighbor and run your alarm clock all the time so you wake them up, get this one. As you see, it's very long. However, if you are a person trying to kick your mother-in-law from the house, use this one. Because this one will remind her it's time to go. And now we go back to the prophet. Like, what the heck? The prophet here receive his inspiration from Santa Claus Bill. The dark history of Islam. The prophet was not hearing Arabic Quran. He was hearing Bill. And the most scary question was, as long as the prophet he receive Quran as a sound of a bell, how the Quran in the sound of a bell became in Arabic. According to Ibn Kathir, this is how it works. Alhamdulillah. Now the problem is solved and we refuted the Christian. So the Prophet, when he heard the brother, he heard the Quran in the sound of a bell. Allah gave him the skills to create more signal. True story. Any Muslim can tell us what's happening here? Especially, yeah, one of you is saying the truth. Is saying, isn't it the shaitan is the the, the 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 bill is an instrument of shaitan? I mean, how in the world this idiot Muhammad, he say that the bell is the instrument of shaitan and then he received Quran in the sound of bell. The bell, according to Muhammad, angels will never enter a house, will never accompany a person, even traveling person, if he have a sound of a bell with him. Why? Because it is the instrument of shaitan. Read it. Read it. Read it. So the prophet received a sound of a bell, which is the instrument of shaitan, and that later became Quran in Arabic. That's deep. That's so deep. Any Mohammedan? And now all of you, you understand why those Abdul don't dare to call me. They knew they are no match. Those people, they like to make mockery, but they knew they are no match with me. If they want to do mockery, I will whip the floor with them. If they want to debate, I will whip the floor with them. And if they try to play games, I will whip the floor with them using Morse technology. Technology. Last call for Muhammadan. Anyone? So let me tell you, Muslims, as long as you are not calling us, we will not stop here. We will not stop asking the same question, the dark history. I will use the same graphic, and you cannot complain about it because it's what you must have made. It's not me who made that. The graphic we are showing in the screen. I am not the one who did it. This is Sheikh Uthman. And as long as you are making mockery of Santa Claus, well, 
we will use the same picture for your profit. For us, this is your profit. Because Santa Claus, or the real person, Saint Nicholas, he was not, not a child molester, like your prophet. So how he have a dark history? He was not a rapist, like your prophet. So how he has a dark history? He did not go to his son, wife, flirt with her. He was a decent man, very decent man. So when you lie, we expose you. Right? Come out on your basement and debate me. Look at guys, look at this Abdul. This Abdul is really tough. This Abdul is really, really tough. Look at this. Look at this challenge. I never thought about this before. I know it's coming. Dolemar Somali, a Somali, since you left your country, running away from Islam, did you come out from the basement or not yet? Why you don't call me? Who is the one in the basement? Like a man in natural zone, you call me, I call you. You can go live on your channel. You can mute me. I will call you live on your channel. Go open your channel, I will call you. Is that fair, guys? You go live in your channel, I will call you. Which means you can mute me. What natural zone? A Muslim talking about natural zone? Is that the camel you're in, zone? Or you mean the prophet he took a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period? Is that what you asked me to do? Jump there? Be Come to natural zone, zone, you know. Stop crying like a girl. Be a man and call me. What you will lose? What you will lose if you call me? If I hang up on you and you were debating me for real, people will be upset from me. I hang up only in kids. But I am guessing that you are a real man. A real man who appreciate water full of dead, dead dogs and women of blood from period. Hey, by the way, what do you think about, I mean, how, how it tastes I mean, when your prophet he is jumping in this water and this water jump in his mouth, there's no way because you have, remember, you have to put water in your mouth to do wudu. You have to put water in your nose to do wudu. How it tastes, a woman full of blood, water full of blood. Hmm. Misinformation, well, I'm showing the reference in the screen. You can say whatever you want. People are laughing. You see, Muslims, when you say you will not call me, I'm lying, blah, 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 blah. Still, we have, you know, I started, I have a thousand people right away listening to me. And now this video will translate it to subtitles around the world. And millions of people will see it. You can attribute with that. I'm showing a reference. And here it says Hassan. Hassan is good. This is your website. This is your translation. And it's your prophet jumping in dirty, filthy water. Hmm? So whatever you want to say, you can say, who cares? You don't count, my friend. What, what your prophet says count, not what I say too. It's what your prophet says. Look, this is your prophet. Not only he used filthy water, jump. So this is sewage. Sewage is even cleaner. You don't find a sewage in USA, have dead dogs in it, and women blood from period, my friend. I mean... And it's even it says a stinky, it says garbage. It says in your own translation, it says a stinky and nothing. And then what they excuse, he said, the, pro the prophet says, Water is always pure, nothing make it any pure. But if you read the hadith, it says, Even the water color changed. Any Abdul? You're lying, Christian Prince. And now we got you busted. Brother, do you know the consequence of you Muslims not defending Islam? Do you know what's happening? Maybe you don't understand. Let me show you something. Just to help you out. There's a consequence of this. That over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become 
an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Stop, please. 24% of Muslim youth leaving Islam? So why you Muslim keep saying to us we became 2 billion, 3 billion, 5 billion, 7 billion every week? Ah, those are lecturers we do behind doors. This is for us Muslims only. It's not supposed to be published. In front of the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, we say we are growing, we are 1.6 billion, we are point. Every two weeks, there's like 200 million added. Every two weeks, just two weeks. By the end of the coming week, there are 2 billion, just wait. But behind doors, when Muslims are speaking to Muslims, it is tsunami. Look at this goat. Wow. How painful the news he is. I mean, can you see the news? You see, there's many kinds of news. But look at this, brother. Look at the pain. All of this because he wants Muslim to send donation. Send us donation. There's 100,000 living in Islam a year. If you send us donation, we can stop it. We are the only one who can stop Muslims from living in Islam. And we are the one who need the donation, okay? If you don't send us donation, you cannot stop Islam, you know, Muslims from living in Islam, okay? Ah, the purpose is donation. Potato. You are so cute. You know, and we are proud about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, well, hold on. So, what? What is that? Start from the beginning. That over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. Avalanche? 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Is that including you? A tsunami. Exactly. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. <clears throat> and this guy is making cartoon from the Quran. I mean, things are really getting messed up. Like, what the heck? Uh, Christian Prince, just defend Christmas because he loves Christmas. Gifts. Uh, okay. He's kidding. Yeah, I receive a lot of gifts rather in Christmas. You should see how many gifts I receive. Oh boy, man. Let us show you some gifts. I receive an invitation for five stars hotel Ribida. I can stay in the water for 24 hours a day. And the water is really, really good. Have all the mineral. You can imagine coming from many, many products and produced by many, many animals. As an example, brother, those minerals are coming from dogs. And you know that we love dogs. Cute dogs. They die, they put them in my jacuzzi. And then, brother, women, they come from around the world and they send their menstruation clothes and rags and they send it as gift, and then you put them in the jacuzzi, and then we mix the water with the dead dogs and stinking garbage. Be careful, you have to mix it very well, because if you don't mix it very well, the cocktail is not ready yet. Before you jump, don't forget, you use your left foot and say, Inshallah. And then if you say, Inshallah, Shaitan will not put his finger in your anus. That's deep. That's so deep. And the Muslims are busy attacking Santa Claus. Hey brother, if you say a certain prayer, that will stop Shaitan from putting his head in your anus. Don't you think this is too much NEC stories? Is it really true? That shaitan he play with your anus? Hey Muslims. Is that true? I'm really suspicious about this story. That shaitan, brother, he you know, when you go to the bathroom, you don't say certain prayer. Where is the video? I'm trying to find the video so we can play it for you because you will not believe me. You will not believe me if I say it to you. 
We have to read to get the scholars, brother, the scholars, the true stories, brother. Yeah, where is the true story? I can't see it until now. You guys are not downloading those videos. One day they will disappear. Most of them they will flag them and they will take them down. Anything is embarrassing, right? You have to download them. Um, here we go. Brother? Uh, but this is... Uh, uh, this is me talking. I don't want me talking. I want uh, the, I'm not using Paltalk right now. We are in Skype. We are not in Paltalk. Satan for the Islam search. Look, look at the title, brother. Look at the title. Who can come with such a title save Allah? Nobody. Okay, let's see this video here. The shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, Lahu durat. You know what durat is? No. Durat is. No way. He runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu durat. I'm not making this a hadith. hadith, it's a hadith. So you that shaitan made me do sin? Ah oh, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan. Right? That shaitan you're gonna make him you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Hey Muslim, let us make shaitan leak. Who wanna call us and make shaitan leak? I mean, come on. Is it time to cause leak for shaitan? Hello? Shaitan he leak because you say the adhan? That's deep. Serious leak. Not just leaking. I mean, you can imagine you open his, his bum wide open. Serious gas. So you know you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you said, Shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet. By the way, I did use this in bank robbery. You go in the bank with the left foot. You say, Allahumma jannibni shaitana wa jannib shaitana ma You know, you go in the bank, security camera can't see you. Employees can't see you. You go to the bank, you take the money, you come out, nobody can see you. The bank, they call the police, they say it's his. The, the money, we saw the money moving by itself, a ghost. He was taking the, you know. And then the police will say, Ah, Amar Rabbi Aman, this person was using the Quran. This is why he was invisible for every human being, eyes. And as an, what the heck? You say the sentence, you became invisible? He cannot see you no more? That's deep. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The brother, what if we use the right foot? Dangerous. Don't do that. Dangerous. Doesn't work. You have to leave, you have to use the left foot. The dua you said, Shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, Shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, yeah. look, there's a consequence now. See, this is this is scientific, certain, 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 tantafico, statadico. If you don't say the dua, there's a consequence. I'm telling you. So you need to say the the, the, the prayer. If you don't say it, Okay, you know, you will pay for this. If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmi that says he plays with your bowels. Oh. Not only he come inside your anus, he play with your bowels. Who said that? Prophet Muhammad. 
and you are telling me that this prophet is not a prophet what's wrong with you I mean what's wrong with you how in the world until now people don't accept Muhammad to be a true prophet true if there's anyone here from the Philippines anyone from the Philippines Last time I went to the Philippines, the guy in the bus, he told me, Sir, I have to pay you back 44 pesos. I said to him, say it one more time and keep the money. <laughs> he came back to me, he said, should I say it more? I said, no, that's it. <laughs> true prophet. This is a true prophet telling us a true story. And you have to be mentally ill if you don't believe in the 40 thief and Alibaba story. This is a true story. Shaitan, he entered your anus. By the way, all of him or some his... Uh, <coughs> I mean, what do you mean he entered your uh, anus? What do you mean exactly? What will enter there exactly? The whole Shaitan? The whole package? These are Tidby that says he plays with your bowels. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're gonna be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. You know why? Because I'm gonna shake that Look at this. I mean I want you to take an image here. Take a moment, please. Let us play yoga. You know, the, the pagan practice, yoga. I want you all now to relax. Focus on your anus. You are in the bathroom. And Shaitan is a plane with your bowels. Uh, love Guru, is that necessarily to talk about these things? Yes. Because now we are doing yoga. We are going to face our problem. Let the problem inside you come from your ass. What? Yoga. Relax. It's coming. Uh, uh, Doctor uh, Guru. Uh, uh, some people they are doing really poopoo now for real. Yes, because I did hepatize them. Let your problem come from your ass. I mean, what is more funny than the the yoga is Islam. Both is stupid. Maybe I should make some videos about this stupid yoga or some people practice it. It's a sign of mental illness, actually, this yoga. Yoga. Sit in your ass for seven hours. Focus. Focus. Take it out. Take it. By the way, don't forget to pay for our membership because our God is a Buddha God and he charged money for yoga anyway do we have any abdul if somebody's saying i'm going to die laughing here we go they will sue me now they will say a woman she will call the you know and she will say christian prince he killed my husband he was very young he was 95 years old he was very handsome and i want replacement like come on don't do that to me i cannot do a replacement for you allah will do a replacement you convert to islam you say shahada the second you enter heaven, there is a long line of one man waiting for you. <laughs> oh boy. Good night. Haril? Guys, there is somebody, his name is Haril, is saying good night. Is that allowed? You are saying good night before I give you permission. Don't you know that I'm a Muslim? And you can enter our chat room, but you cannot leave it. And you are saying to us loud and clear, good night, you became apostate now. This person, he said, good night. I cannot believe it. These days, brother, people fighting the will of Allah. Are you Yani? Yarin is from Satan. 
Sneezing is from Allah. I have a bad news for you, Harold. You are yawning from Shaitan. And this is proven scientifically. There is many scientifically proven, proven that yawning is from Shaitan and sneezing from Allah. This is why Allah is so happy in winter and so sad and lonely in summer. Once I open a chat room in Palto program, I call it let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. The most time they went to the admins, the company, and they reported my room to close it. Can you believe it? I mean, if Allah, he loved those who sneeze. And I open a chat room, I ask Muslim to come to the microphone, just sneeze. I mean, let us make Allah happy. They get upset. What's wrong with you? You cannot read what your prophet said these days. <laughs> this is Allah now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Krishna Prince is A chew. I'm unbelievable. I can't take it no more. <laughs> what the heck? Allah, He loved those who sneeze. And He hate those who yawn because sneezing from Allah and yawning from Satan. And look what happened when you do yawning. She's John, Shaitan, jump in your opening. Don't take me wrong. I'm not talking about that opening. Hello. I'm talking about your mouth now. I know your dirty mind. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Because you listen too much to Muhammad. So you think everything is that there. You know, no, no. We are not talking about that area. We are talking about your mouth now. So you are yawning. And now Shaitan, he got his opportunity. To jump inside your opening. Harun is saying there are talking donkeys in the Bible, Harun. <laughs> so why your prophet accept the story? <laughs> Secondly, Harun, in the Bible it says that the, the Lord make the words come as if it is from the donkey. It's not the donkey is talking. This is why it says he opened the mouth. It's not the donkey talking. The guy is there alone and there's nobody else except him and the donkey. But let me show you what your prophet said. Your prophet, he stole a donkey from a Jew and he had a conversation with the donkey. And guess what? The donkey been asked by your prophet, do you like females? The donkey, he said, no. I don't like females. So when a Muslim, they make fun, we laugh more. And not only that, look, he accepted the story there because that story is about what? Seeing angels. Ah, here we go. You're a prophet. He took the story. He put it in his book. This is why I must have done there to debate me. According to your prophet, if you see the donkey bearing, ho, 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 that he mean he saw an angel. Do you see it? It's in your book, Abdul. Are you there, Harun? Harun, ya Harun, you are really Harun. Harun means a cat. So according to the genius Muhammad, if you see, if you hear the, uh, uh, the rooster uh, crow, then seek the favor of Allah because he saw an angel. Do you want to call me and make fun of it? So we can read the verse in the Bible and we'll read this at the same time. Harun? Harun? Ah, Harun now, he don't want to talk about the topic no more. Do you see how I make them change their topic in the speed of light? As fast as they can. 
But if it's different Christian, they want to talk about it. But with the Christian prince, what you can do? I will feed you from what you cooked. Anyway, guys, I think it's enough for today. I hope that you guys, I wish you a really a Merry Christmas and really a Happy New Year. And we are so happy that Saudi are coming to the Lord. And Saudi, the Christmas is a great time to reach out to the Saudi. As you see, Saudi Arabia celebrating Christmas for the first time ever. Before Christian, if they celebrate Christmas in Saudi Arabia, they would be jailed immediately and they would be tortured. This is Saudi Arabia, my friend. People are celebrating Christmas in Saudi Arabia. Muslims are celebrating Christmas in Saudi Arabia. Bahrain this year have the biggest celebration for opening the first huge church. And the first service was Christmas service. God is good. And as the Mohammedan, they said, it's a tsunami. And the tsunami is coming. They cannot run away from it. They try. They promote it. They spend a lot of money. They support them. Atheists support them. Google support them. That's why you see, if you are a Muslim and support terrorism, Google will let you do collect donation. Christian Prince, he cannot. Why? Because Google is in bed with those terrorists. Anybody can tell us why we cannot have a donation? Oh, because we are not Muslim. By Islam is collapsing. Researchers show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Stop. I say 24% and one. And that is you. I want to say thank you guys for being here. Until we see you soon again, I say may the Lord bless you. Merry Christmas. We might make a special video broadcast during the new year, but not in this channel. will be in the Bible study channel. So if you do not know where it is, you can go to Patreon or the admin can post the link for you and you can subscribe and join us. And in that broadcast, we will not talk about Islam. We will be having a good time and we will read some verses from the Bible about celebrating the year of the Lord. For every day is the day of the Lord, and every year is the year of the Lord. Remember, when they say 2001, 2020, 2021, 2022, we are just counting the years of the Lord. So even in their computer, they have to celebrate Christmas, those who hate Christmas. Atheists, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, doesn't matter. The whole universe run by him. Prove me wrong. So join us sooner, we will be together. If I can come tomorrow to do live broadcast in this channel here, I will. Otherwise, we will be in the Arab for Christ Bible study channel, and you can join us to enjoy the new year with us. And for sure, those who they are, I have many people I consider them like family for me. I'm very thankful for them. And even those who hate me, Still, I will pray for you, for the Lord you order me to do so. However, always people who have a lot of hate, their hate is their poison. They will die with it. So take your hate away. We don't hate Muslims. We will never hate them. Take your hate away so you can live as God he created you. Hate is only from the devil, and that is your God, Allah. Thank you very much for being here, and we will see you soon again. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And the dark history of Muhammad is exposed again and again. Join us and don't stop and don't let anyone stop you from telling the truth. Take care.
But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 